Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Happy Monday to you. This is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video where we go over the news happening in game and in the Raid community to get you all caught up as we get the week kicked off here for Raid. We've got a Forge Pass. We've got a bonus Legendary event. We've got things happening for the OL Fusion, offers in the shop, and all sorts of craziness to get you caught up on. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, let's talk about we've got the Forge Pass Season 7 live in game, and it is going to be around the Bolster set. Now, this is going to be functioning just like every other Forge Pass that I can remember them doing, where you've got a gold pass. Actually, let me shrink myself here for a little bit. Let's make this a little bit smaller so you can see what's going on here on screen. Okay, so yeah, they've always got like the gold pass for $20, and then they've got the $40 version where you can get the gold pass plus kind of a, a, a head start on some of the goals. If you're an active player, I would not recommend getting the, uh, the 25 extra levels. If you are going to purchase the pass, I would just stick with the $20 version and be active in game and you won't have to worry about spending that extra 20 Typically, it ends up not being worth the value for active players. And as you can see right here above my camera border, the bolster set is going to be a protected shield set basically where you get the 30% ally shield for three turns and then you also heal by 10% of every turn and is protected so this is a really really beefed up shield set and it is actually a really strong set in places like the tag team arena or if you're trying to three star faction wars content or something like that but you're probably going to see this most typically in the arena and if we pull up our most current iteration of the raid sets tier list, you can see that we have got the bolster up here. So a, a very solid set. And it, it, it is definitely strong because it, it gives you the protected buff. If it was just a beefed up shield set where you get like the heals or something, it would be down the board a little bit. But the fact that it is protected is going to help you a lot in PvP, uh, especially in some of those more tanky teams where you're not trying to win the speed battle. So definitely nothing wrong with the bolster set. We've got it ranked as very solid. Then over there on the right side, I'll pull up our analysis from the last Forge Pass Season 6, where it was around the Instinct set, and we will get uh, we will get a full breakdown and analysis of this uh, that I can get you an infographic and a website post and all of that. But you know, uh, you know, the Forge Passes are typically not a good purchase for the lower spenders, but for anybody that's medium to high spending, it can be a, a better offer than it gets credit for in, in the full scheme of, of raid compared to what we typically get offered. And it actually ends up being decent value if you take the whole thing into consideration and you end up finishing all 100 levels of the of the uh, of the Forge Pass. But it's not like some god tier offer uh, that low spenders should really prioritize participating in. But for the people that lean towards the higher spending tiers, it can actually make sense compared to some of the packs that we see in the shop. But even if you're not going to purchase the Forge Pass, which actually typically I don't even purchase the Forge Pass, um, I would at least try to focus on doing the challenges and the quests and the stuff associated with it because you will want to at least scoop up the free rewards up here on the top because it is a pretty strong set. And then Polarium also has this news post about the end of winter events uh, in honor of winter coming to a close pretty soon here. They're, they're about a month early on this. I've got the I've got the spring equinox stuff popped up right there, and it's actually on Monday, March 20th. Uh, it's currently February 20th, so a little bit early on the end of winter celebration. But nonetheless, we've got uh, we've got an extra legendary event from Ancient Shards. Now you do want to be careful on that uh, because we are going to probably be getting 2x ancient shards this week and this is actually pretty crazy because you can see right here it says uh from tuesday to thursday and then i i expect there to be 2x ancient shards on friday that's really crazy uh that they're doing the ancient shard bonus legendary event uh here if they uh, like 99% chance that this weekend is 2x Ancients, so this is pretty crazy that they're gonna like try to bleed out the Ancients right before this weekend, but just something to take note of. Honestly, like in terms of just Legendary Acquisition, the bonus Legendary events um, are better than 2x events uh, if, if you're like anywhere close to your Mercy and all that, but the thing that you really want to consider is if you're a new player or even maybe a, a mid-game player that hasn't finished like Faction Wars and stuff and you still need a lot of those epics to round out your roster you really want to be careful and probably prioritize pulling during a 2x event because you still need to summon a bunch of those epics 
but we'll talk about the shards here in a second. I want to go through this news post uh, because we're also going to be getting some drop fever events, and it confirms here with triple chances on specific gear. So that means that these drop fever events are going to be a 3x and not a 2x. I've got the breakdown up there above my head where you can see the normal odds of an artifact set in these dungeons is 11% during a 2x. The way that they calculate it in game, it ends up being a 20%, and then the 3x ends up being a 27%. So it's not a true 3x where it's like 33.33%, but it is very reliable in terms of your average expectation of acquiring certain things in game. Now there is one here that's a little bit different and it would not be the same odds as this 27%. And that is going to be the accessories for Sylvan Watchers in the Spider's Den. That's probably pretty important. We're probably only going to see one or two more events like that before the Sylvan Watcher faction crypt is uh, enabled in game. So do consider running the spider here uh, this coming weekend on the 25th to the 26th when they are tripling the accessories in the Sylvan Watchers. Other than that, you're gonna be getting the regeneration set on Wednesday in the Fire Night, and then you'll be getting uh, Dark Elves accessories as well uh, on February 26th to the 28th. And I said I would talk a little bit more about the shards specifically because this is very important to get right for you and give you full information on. Now, I did a dedicated video on the breakdown of the shard rate analysis. And basically what you need to know is, so ancient shards, uh, this section here on the left is what's gonna be coming up this week with the events happening. And then as we lead into this weekend with probably a 2X. Now in terms of just legendary acquisition, during a 2X, it's about every 87.3 shards. And during a non 2X, it's 128.5 so you can see it's not quite a 2x uh, in terms of just legendary acquisition and if you are close to mercy then the bonus legendary event is amazing for you and you should actually prioritize pulling during the bonus legendary instead of the 2x but uh, for anybody out there that is new early game mid game still needs a bunch of epics like I said you're going to probably want to hold off and pull during this weekend because 2x events can be amazing for filling out your roster with all of those epics that you need to get on your account, the allures and the Seneshas for faction wars and the doom priest and all of these different Deacon Armstrongs and stag knights that you need on your roster. The two X events are your best opportunity to make sure and do that. And also the Oella fusion will be coming to a close this week. You've got your dragon tournament live right now that I grinded up enough to get the rare over there. And uh, you've still got a day and a half left on that. Then under the events tab, you've got the Dungeon Divers double dipping a little bit with the Dragon, but this Dungeon Divers is actually a pretty big one. You have to get all the way to 5,500 to scoop up the uh, to scoop up the two rares. It's, it, it's two rares in a uh, in a Dungeon Divers instead of just one. So do uh, prepare for having to grind the dungeons a little bit more than you would have expected over the next couple of days. And then you've also got a day and a half left on the Artifact Enhancement, where you will have to get to 4,775 and also probably want to scoop up the ancient shard with all of the craziness going on this week and possibly 2x this weekend so definitely get to 5600 if you have enough silver to do so and then you'll be having a champion training event launching tomorrow and in tandem with the oella fusion your next CBC clan versus clan match will be exactly eight days from now. This week will be an off week for CBC. And then you will get a match next Tuesday as long as Plarium goes with their normal rotation. Before you dive in and do any of your fights and stuff, you want to claim your, your arena uh, and make sure you kind of farm up to your proper tier because your arena tier can mess up your dungeon runs and your clan boss teams because of the base stat bonuses and all of that. And then we've also only got a couple days left on the Doom Tower. I'm going to try to get out a, a video on like the final boss and, and, and like the Griffin and stuff like that and show you the teams that I'm using and, and show some other options. Hopefully I uh, get that done here in the next day or two for those of you that are kind of trying to, to get this dungeon uh, or get the Doom Tower cleared uh, before it wraps up here as we get closer to the end of February. Then it's time to go over the offers. We've been getting a lot of them in the shop. This actually looks like a pretty light day. Uh, yeah, we've only got uh, seven offers. Okay, we've been up, up at like 11 or 12 most days. Yeah, because they're not doing the, uh, the triplet pack or whatever. Okay, so pack string this is the silver and gems one um yeah that's not typically a good one um that's not worth plugging in the 101 percent uh mini mix packs are over which is unfortunate um actually pack. um okay so this looks like really the only thing that we that we need to prioritize plugging in the privilege pack here that we have over the course of the next few days so alrighty, this one is 20 dollars with a million 
Okay, there we go. And then we've got the 200 gems, 750 energy. Uh, let's do 100 multi-battles. Okay, and then, ooh, an XP barrel. Okay, pretty solid for anybody kind of more early game. So there we go with that. And then two of the five-star chicken right there. And, ooh, it ends up as a 0.84. Yeah, so this one should have been $15. Yeah, and then it would have been uh, a little bit more above average. I will say the barrels and, and five-star chicken are, are really good for someone who's early game. So maybe uh, maybe an early game player who's a high spender, I could maybe see them uh, justifying it. But for most people, I'd say probably 90% of people, uh, this offer right here is really not worth considering. There we have it. Good luck on wrapping up your Oella Fusion events and uh, and getting the week kicked off here for Raid. I planned on doing the account giveaway today, but we already had a lot going on with these different events they announced and, and, and the Forge Pass and, and stuff like that. So I'll probably do the account giveaway in tomorrow's wrap-up video. We'll uh, we'll give it away live on stream and we'll let you leave comments to, uh, to win that big account that we were planning on giving away tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for that and remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoyed Enjoy daily Rage Shadow Legends content. I will see you soon in the next video. Appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.